parallel universe. What is good, everybody? Today on Mondays with Murdoch. Now, guys, before we get into it too far, by dimensions, I mean parallel universe. Everyone's like, why are you going to be talking about math? No, 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 no. I mean a parallel universe. People call them dimensions. So the title is going to be called Dimensions slash Parallel Universe. Just because it's almost technically the same thing. Except for it's a parallel dimension, not dimension. So that's the topic today. Is parallel universes... Do they exist? What's behind them? Do you believe in them? Do I believe in them? And so forth. But before we get too far ahead today, we are going to go into our news section and see what the hell is good in the world of the yeah, fucking United States. Because apparently there's a lot of shit going on. So we're going to we're going to find out. Um However, I did find something very interesting today. I hope you guys like my new layouts. This is obviously going up on YouTube, so what's up YouTube as well. Uh, I did find out something very interesting about Trump. Um, he says that video games causes violence. And Ninja, out of all the people, uh, was in an interview and ended up, you know, telling him to uh, shut up, pretty much. And I, I enjoyed it because... Video games does not cause violence at all. It's what you guys do. I think I just splashed myself in the eye. Um, before we get too far, I do want to show you guys. Today is National Dog Day. So guys, go ahead and check out my puppies with you. There is my Zoe girl. What a sexy ass. These are the pictures I posted on Facebook. Go ahead and add me if you want. I don't care. There's my little Groot. There's my little magic poo-poo. And then there's Lila. And Lila again. Because she's cute. But I just want to show you that. So happy dog day. National dog day. Love my dogs to death. Let's get right in with Fox News. See what is good in Fox Nation today. Probably nothing good. I did get um, a new Ethernet, so hopefully my internet's a lot faster. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Um, and what else did I do today? I did, look, I did look at a house today. Fancy, fancy, right? Um, and I don't know if you guys do know, but uh, Night Hollow Blood is the MVP for Colossal. Guys, go outside. Do something else. You guys always start when I'm fucking streaming. Go! Go, 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 go! I'll scare him with my stick. Anyway. Um, he got his $10, so congratulations, Night Hollow. Everyone go check him out. Uh, Shade underscore 10. I don't know what his YouTube is. It's something I don't really know. But anyway, it's something like that. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Federal prosecutors plan to seek the death penalty against a man charged with killing 11 people in Pittsburgh synagogue last year, according to Monday. Uh, yeah, I think you probably should. Just kill him on the spot. That'd be a lot easier. <laughs> Bear steals dog food. From Chewy.com off a guy's porch. That's kind of crazy. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to make these about, you know, um, political I'm not very I'm not a very political man so I'm not really gonna make these political I don't I don't really care I just it, it kind of irked me a little bit that someone 
Or anyone, really. Or anyone has to say that video games causes violence. Like, just shut up. Like, honestly, that's just, that's just stupid. Like, I, I don't, I don't know where they get that shit causes violence. Uh, let's see. Holy shit. Wow, 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 wow. So, you guys know I'm not very government-like. Um, this opioid crisis. Apparently, Johnson & Johnson is going to be held, should be held liable in a $17 billion lawsuit. Johnson & Johnson ordered to pay $572 million in opioid case. So... A lot of this has the government involved, and you guys know I'm not very government based. And I made a I made a saying up the other day as I was sitting here thinking of how shitty the government is. Um, <laughs> well, let's just say this: if you have mice in your house and you want to get rid of them mice, very simple, right? What would you guys do? Well, you set traps. Okay, good way to do it. Rat poison, another good way to do it. Uh, there's also a safe haven where you trap them friendly and you put them back out into the wild. Okay, well, they're also hostage for a little bit. So there's your prison. You trap them. So there's your bait. You know, a lot of cops do bait. I hate to say it. I hate to tell you. But you see a little state trooper... He's going to bait you into doing something illegal at some point in time. I don't care where you're from. And rat poison. Now, this one was my amazing one. I really, really like this theory. So, how would you get rid of some of your toxic people? Or, I should say some of your American people, you would uh, overprescribe a drug, hence opioids, and they get addicted, and then all of a sudden you take them away. Well, right there, now you're you're literally telling people like, hey, this is your this is your problem. Take some opioids. Take some opioids. You just hand them out like Tic Tacs. Well, then you take them away. They get addicted to that shit. Okay. They either commit suicide or they overdose on them. <clears throat> just like a mouse. Feeding them poison. The government's just feeding us poison. Hey, I, I don't want to sound like one of them government gurus that just hate the government and will always find an excuse for the government that's to blame. I mean, some people will still to blame. I'm not, I'm not blaming everything on the government, but if you're going to make something illegal, then all of a sudden... Or not illegal. Legal... And all of a sudden, take it away. Like, that's a little fucked up, ain't it? Like, find a find a better solution. You know, like Colorado did. You know, if you got depression, just smoke a joint, smoke something. This shit makes you feel so much better than it and than anything. With pills, okay? Pills is an unnatural substance. It's that simple. Pills is not the answer. I. I hate to tell you, but pills is just not the answer. Okay? It's not natural. It's, that, it, it's plain and simple. It's clear as day. It's not natural. Anything man-made is a drug. Tylenol is a drug. Weed grows natural. It's not a drug. Now, whatever people do with weed, that's different. Lace it with something, then it's not natural. It's still... Before anyone says something like that, 
if weed is laced with something, it's still not natural. It's still fucking someone tampering with it. But anyway, I can't believe we're gonna cause someone. Okay, well, Hong Kong's having a uh, something going on. Hong Kong had a riot. <laughs> well, there is a new wall going up. Uh, apparently here in uh, San Luis. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. I get so sick and tired of hearing about this damn wall. I like that one guy's song where it says, build a wall around my fucking house. How about that? I hate everyone. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. Someone from California is calling me. How wonderful that is. Let's see. and I didn't say a fucking word he didn't know how to react oh that's great he's gonna call back tomorrow or some other time that's great that's great well the news looks very boring Shit, a huge horde of muscle cars uncovered in Iowa and heading for auction. The hundred or so vehicles were collected over the past 50 years by a man named Coyote Johnson. The 65-year-old construction company owner has been buying them since he was 16 and building barns with his own hands to store them. That's badass, my friend. Now they're going to go to auction. Not sure what the hell that was about, but like did he did he like oh yeah man these cars are gonna be so worth it in sixty five thousand fucking years. Apparently someone It's happening now. So, another news which hit me in the feels is uh, the Sony Disney bullshit with Spider Man. Not good, man. Not good. It's just strike a deal or something. Just strike a fucking deal. For real. You know? Marvel's been putting in all this money. Making these amazing ass movies. Once 50% I think of the box office. Which is like the beginning of the, the whole ordeal. Like two weeks box office. They want all them earnings. Marvel made a lot of money. Just strike a deal, man. They make good movies. Like, what the hell are you doing, Sony? Is any of your movies up there? No. Strike a deal. Say, how about 30%? Because right now, I think they're getting like 15 or 20, I think. 
instead of just cutting it off. You're not gonna make any money because I ain't gonna go watch any more Sony Sony made Spider Man. It's just that I ain't getting my business. I like Tom Holland as Spider Man. I like the way Marvel's been doing their Spider Man. So what the fuck? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't into that. I seen his face. A diamond heist. NYPD is searching for three suspects, one in an armed robbery in Manhattan's Diamond District with the trio allegedly posing as customers before tying up employees in a midday crime that netted them millions in jewels. Wow, millions? Maybe I didn't need to become a fucking criminal. Fucking millions of dollars in just diamonds? That's fucked up, bro. A lot of money. What? A Southern California sheriff deputy who set off a massive manhunt, manhunt, wow, when he allegedly faked being shot by a sniper outside his station. Fucking that, dude. Station has left colleagues furious with his boss moving to boot him off the force and investigators probing potential criminal charges. Wow. Man, what the fuck are you doing that for? Why are you gonna fake that shit? I'm not sure if you guys understand what's going on in the Amazon rainforest either. A lot of people that's on the down low for some reason, but let me tell you what's going on. There is a huge, huge um, fire. And what you guys don't understand is the Amazon rainforest produces a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Wow. Sound like a retard. Produces a lot for the world we live in. Like. It's kind of a crisis that it's on fire because it holds a lot of our oxygen for this earth. A lot of species are being killed. And, I mean, I don't know if you guys understand the food chain or not, but, you know, we kind of need everything to be balanced. People don't understand about it. They're gonna guys yeah, sitting here bashing this guy because right now the video is not showing them in the jungle. So they don't understand. Amazon rainforest isn't just a fucking jungle. It's there's plateaus and fields. Uh, people are just fucking retarded. Do 
get that light up candle. What are you looking at, Max? Get it. Go get it. What's wrong, babe? Look, look at this guy. He's funny. So that's obviously the Amazon Rainforest. Yeah. Look at look what this guy post. Wow, what a fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. Like there's more than the rain to the rainforest than just a rainforest. What a freaking moron. A little light up candle, maybe keep the damn bugs away for a little bit. That's what it's for, right? Yeah. Ah! I'll keep the lid on anyway, that's cool. I didn't even know you had to keep the lid. Uh, I believe she's gonna be joining a podcast with me, so stay tuned, guys. Bring your chair over. So we can look shit up. Where's that aspirin? What do you mean? I got ibuprofen. That might work. I don't have aspirin. What yeah, we do for headaches. It's for back pain, too. Then you have it. I don't use them little... Oh, they're right there. Well, then bring them back when you get a chance. <laughs> Let's go back to fake news now. Let's see what CNN has to say. Hopefully it's something exciting. Exciting and new and adventurous. Here we are on CNN. CNN's the only one that wants to ever talk to me. I don't understand it. They always, as soon as I get to their post, they're like, hey, check me out, man. Check a f me out if. Are you not uh, coming over? But I got a good question for you. I just mentioned it earlier in my stream. Every day, 130 Americans die of an opioid crisis. Thousands more battle addiction. <clears throat> Massachusetts has one of the highest rates of opioid-related overdose deaths in America. And one small community is fighting back with the innovation steps to focus on the root cause of addiction cycle. So, <clears throat> did I tell you about my theory on the whole... Opioid crisis in the government? No. Well, you have mice in your house? How do you get rid of them? Find their root? You give them drugs? Yeah. Oh, true. <laughs> you give them drugs? You have too many Americans in your uh, country? How do you get rid of them? Give them drugs. Give them drugs. I mean, with all the technology, seriously, just hear me out on this. If with all the technology we have, you're telling me you can't stop a lot of drugs crossing the border or you can't stop most of this shit, 
Like, I get, I get, like, heroin and everything, but, like, opioids where it was prescribed? Like, what are you, tell, what are you trying to tell me? That, did you not check the fucking fine print? Did you not check the fucking warning labels or, or what? You just prescribed drugs. Because apparently, you know, if a doctor's going to prescribe you drugs, doesn't it get passed? Isn't there, like, an FDA or something? Like, you're telling me that, oh, shit, we fucked up. But yet, we're going to blame the company. You're the one who fucking let it happen, government. You probably did it on purpose, too. Thinning out the crowd. <clears throat> First off, you want to take our guns. Okay, I will never... I will never fall under the line of taking away our guns. I'm a firm believer in a Second Amendment. Sorry. That offends you. I guess that really sucks. But if you never heard of... Oh, fuck. What's that called? Where the government takes full control. Triot? Triot? No, sort of with a T. Happened in France. I want to say a theocracy, but. That's the reason we have the Second Amendment. And it's not, it's not, um, it's not martial law. It's going to bother me until I find it. Dude, fucking don't ever try to use fucking Yahoo search. There's, um, to, to terror, total, I, I can never fucking say it. Bring it over. I will always be part of the Second Amendment. Holy fuck. What is that fucking word, bro? Tyranny. Tyranny. A tyrannical government. Tyranny. That's, that's it. It has to be. The Second Amendment is there for tyranny. Meaning the government gets too too op oppressive. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So yes, I will always be for the Second Amendment. That's what it's in there for. To prevent a tyrant government. 
it did happen a long time ago. It happened in Australia here recently. They took all the guns, and all of a sudden now there's a militia fighting, and no one there to protect themselves. We're here to protect ourselves. I'm, I'm here for me. I ain't here for anything else. Sorry I was born in this fucking country. Sorry I was born in Maryland. Sorry I was born in fucking the United States or the North American region. Like, I can't help where I was born. So yeah, I'm going to abide by your law, but don't, don't fucking try to oppress me. Don't, 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 don't push me because I'm going to push back. And that's what the whole Second Amendment's for. It's for tyranny. But I, they're they're sitting here and they're they're prescribing us drugs that I guess was not tested or something. I like. Yes, the people, FDA. The FB, FDA does that all the shit. Yeah, but now all of a sudden it's oh shit. We prescribed too much. Let's blame a company. Why don't you blame yourselves, government? You're the ones who passed it. Yeah, they're never going to blame themselves. No, they're never going to blame themselves. And, and, and then they try to take our guns. Like A lot of people don't see what's going on, man. They're trying to take over too much. Too much control is too, just too much for the people. Too much power. Like, turn it down, man. Just tone it down. People won't get so pissed off. People's gonna get pissed off no matter what you do, but. Like, for instance, fining people for collecting rainwater. Bitch, do you fucking own the rain cloud? Did I pay taxes on the rain cloud now? Unless you're controlling the motherfucking weather. Don't bother with it. Literally, people have been fined and in jail for collecting rainwater. There was a guy that was in jail over rainwater because he was refusing to even pay the fine, which I would. Put me in jail, motherfucker. And when someone asks you, why are you in jail? Uh, well, I had a bucket of water outside that the rain was collecting it. And all of a sudden, now I'm in jail. I'm not repeating myself for a third time. It it's that bad. Maybe you should get X lax or something. If your back hurts from shitting, my back hurt. My back is hurting at work. Well, maybe you should bend over properly. I don't bend over at work. You lay on your back. What? What do you lay on your back? Well, how's your back hurting if you don't bend over? I don't know. Jesus, you need to work out or something. YouTube, tell her to work the fuck out. Jesus Christ. What do you think of the opioid crisis? Any words on that? What about Trump saying video games creates violence? I don't 100% believe that. What? That video games create violence. You don't 100%? Well, I think it kind of desensitizes us, but I don't think it creates it. And, and here's the here's the catch with people that will will think about uh how video games change people. Oh my gosh, guys. Just because I'm over here does not mean you have to panic. Well, I think there's something over there. Going. Max has been over here all day. Uh, so if video games would create violence, what about movies? What about music? Well, I think that that stuff also... De that's why I said not 100%. I think music and movies kind of desensitize us too. Because like... Out of everything that's more influential, I'm pretty sure music's one of the top. Yeah, I agree. Music's, I think, the number one influential thing. You can't go a day without listening to music. Even if you don't want to listen to music, you'll hear it somewhere. 
It's that simple. Jesus Christ. You'd have to really be a recluse around nobody. Exactly. You literally would have to sleep all day. I mean. Yeah. With like soundproof headphones on or something. Yeah. Because even if I'm laying in my bed, my window's right here. But even if I'm laying in bed, if my door is open and a big giant Harley rider goes through, I can actually hear the radio sometimes. So it's like so hard to go a day without listening to music. And if your phone's on ring, I mean, technically, that's a tone. A tone would be from a part of a music. P part of the music. <laughs> what do you think about this one, though? Fatal shootings of two children, 8 and 15, over the weekend in St. Louis were the latest casualties in what has been a deadly summer for young people, police say. 12 kids die, have died in gun violence in St. Louis since April. Damn. Two kids a month. Again, it ain't the gun, though. I, I just hate to say it. Actually, I don't even hate to say it. It ain't the gun. It, it's the hatred. The U.S. is throwing away at least 3,500 donated kidneys every year. Holy shit. There's an APOA crisis, and this guy, they stole fucking millions of diamonds. Can you believe it? Oh my god, they're gonna have American First po Pooch. America's First Pooch in 2020 for Aww. National Dog Day. Where do I enter that? Zoe's picture would definitely win it. Bolivia's Amazon is on fire too. More than 1.8 million acres have been burned. Wow. Did you know Alaska's on fire? I did not know that. Because no one's, no one has reported on it. Yeah, it's always bullshit. Give it, give. It, we need like a natural disaster news station. That's a well, someone that, created. That, like a, a global national disaster news page. Yeah. Or it's just all over the... Yeah, there'd be something every day for them to report on. There would be. At least one thing. A day. That we need it. Someone, someone create it. If you, if, you, if you hear me, if you see this video on YouTube, someone create it. I, I will come to your page every day. I will. Every day. Well. Get the fuck out of here, Mats. Oof. Well, guys. Let's chat about... A parallel universe. Are you ready? I guess so, yeah. Now, before we get too far, how would you explain a parallel universe? Oh, God. I don't know if I can explain it without doing an example. I feel like I explain it better if I give an example. Go for it. To me, an alternate or parallel universe is, is for instance, even I can't explain it like that. We're going to cover this up. <laughs> like, I th okay, this is how I think of it. I think of the butterfly effect. I think about a choice that I've made, and the choice, I think about a choice I've made, and part of me thinks, well, what if I had made the other choice? And I personally think that there is a parallel universe in which I've made that choice, and I think about it all the time. Well, where would I be now if I had made that choice? That's how I look at it, is like butterfly effect almost. And that was hard to explain? Yes, I couldn't think of, of the words there. But I did, I find I, I got it. She's a little bit slow, leave her alone. I, I know, it. thank you for your input. <laughs> what did he say? She's a little bit slow, leave yes, her alone. Yes, yes. Alright. <laughs> a parallel universe to me is kind of the same thing, but when I'm dead. Okay. See, I think about it when I'm alive. Like, I think that there's another me somewhere. I feel like if I'm dead, I'm going to not do all the different choices that I've made now, but... Okay, there. I have a chance to remake. There. Redo my decisions. Okay, there. This is how I do it. 
to me, I think there's either one or multiple versions of me somewhere in the universe. Fucking dog. However, I believe in multi dimensions, not parallel. Isn't that just like two? Could be. You can have multiple parallel lines. I guess. But let's see what the definition actually has. Wikipedia is not very good, but we're going to use it just for a second, just to see what they say. Parallel universe, also known as a parallel dimension, alternate universe, alternate reality, which is a good way to, I like yeah, to Yeah, I like it, alternate reality. Is hypocritical, self-contained plane of existence. Yeah, hypothetical, sorry. Mm -hmm. Self-contained plane of existence. Coexisting with one's own. The sum of political, oh wow, <laughs> potential parallel universes that, let me get my drink up here because I'm going to need it that constitute reality is often called a multiverse. While the three terms and generally, generally, what? While the three terms are generally synonymous. Synonymous. Why would they add that? And can to tell, be- To tell you they're interchangeable. <laughs> Still stupid for a definition. And can be used interchangeably. In most cases, there are sometimes an additional Connotation implied with the term alternate universe reality that implies that the reality is a variant of our own with some overlap with the. Uh, can this not just go away? With some overlap with the. Uh, wow. This fucking gnat is. Hold on, time out. I got the one that was bothering me. Bothering me. I have a huge fucking nap problem. I don't know why. I just got, I can see it on the screen and it's like very, I'm like a, I'm like a cat. So I get distracted. With some overlap with the similar, sim, similarly, sim, sim, similarly, named alternate history. Fuck it. Similarly. The term parallel universe is more general <clears throat> without implying a relationship or lack of relationship with our own universe. Universe where the very laws of nature are different. That's what I believe. Sorry. For example, one in which there are no laws of motion, whoa, that's weird, would in general count as a parallel universe, but not an alternate reality and a concept between both fantasy, world, and earth. That is weird. Wow, there's a lot in here. Can you go away from me? Go. There's nothing over here. Go lay down. Damn. I'm gonna knock my shit over. Thank you for the cheer. Alright. Well, that's the definition. But. Let's see if we can find an actual. Oh man. Whoa. An alternate universe is like going through a wormhole. Jesus fucking Christ. Daughter universes. Huh. Alright. So my main discussion is on dimensions. Now. <clears throat> This isn't going to turn into a religious subject. What are you doing? What are you doing? But, let's think of it this way. To me, dimensions can be opened and closed. I'll agree with that. So, let me further explain that for myself. All right. As you guys know, I, uh, huh, you can call me a ghost hunter. I'm a paranormal investigator. And you open up a portal box. Portal box, okay. Uh, spirit box. In other cases, you can use a Ouija board. Fuck that. Again, I'm not going into detail with a Ouija board, but no Ouija boards. Yeah. 
those to me is a portal. Portal into another dimension. dimension. Okay? Now, the subject, I'm kind of basing mine around ghosts, spirits, demons, whatever you want to call them. Let me give you a slight bit of a story and a theory that I actually thought of today. So, let's think of our world that you see, your living being, as, can you use this stop? <clears throat> as one dimension right now. We're in one, number one dimension. Okay. You hear a ghost. If you believe in spirits, you hear a noise and you cannot explain it. Couldn't that be another dimension that you just can't yeah. get to? So here's the story. My grandmother, which is a devout Christian, she's definitely Christian, old school. She used to have these stories about a ghost. Now, when my pap was alive and he died in 99, so I was only four or five years old, and I don't remember the age when he died. They slept in a back room in their bedroom and she would hear footsteps coming down the hallway. Click, 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 click. And this is coming from my grandmother. Stories never changed. It always been the same the entire time. I thought that was something on my screen. And she said as soon as he, she would wake her husband up, which is my pap, the ghost would go away. The spirit would just vanish. Now, this happened multiple times. It would stop at her, at her doorstep, right? Now, this is when my pap's alive. My mother even heard it and seen him. It's a tall, lanky man. Freaky. And I actually had a dream of this. He was walking down the... Mike, I had a dream. I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. But I had a dream that he was actually walking down the, the road. Outside my mom, like grandmother's house, like he was leaving. Wow, it's starting to connect. More of it's starting to connect just now. That's after my pap died. He, I had that dream that he was walking away, and this is literally gonna connect to the story I have. Hmm. A theory. So, let me just rewind real quick. The spirit would stop at her door. She wake him up. Spirit go away. Now. That spirit could be in a different dimension that we can't see, feel, or, or, or interact with unless we have tools. You know, a spirit is based off electrons, meaning it uh, is atoms, like your lights. It uses the energy from that to portray itself. So how do we interact? Using electronical devices to contact the living dead, as you would call it. So, when my pap has passed away, there was no sign of this ghost. No sign. No spirit. My theory is, maybe there is an alternate universe, and now my pap is the one guarding the house. No sign of that other spirit. Okay. Because, again, she would wake him up and his spirit would disappear. So now that my pap passed away and there's no sign of the spirit, Habits. pretty well yeah. kicked him out. Hence my dream that I just thought of, of him walking down the street, like packing his bags and getting the fuck out of there. Yeah. I, I believe, I believe an alternate universe is something like that where... You can literally live next to a ghost. Like, spirits just... Come and go, kind of. Are just like us. Yeah. But spirits. Right. And Existing. have no responsibility, really. Existing on a different plane. Now, I also believe in different dimensions, as in good and bad, as well. Or uh, in between. Okay, here's a theory for you. You said something about... You think dimensions can be opened. 
And then you talked about like ghost hunting, where you uh, you physically open the portal yourself, kind of, or the wormhole, if you will. Mm -hmm. What if you can open it unintentionally, or what if it's opened unintentionally, such as, i.e., deja vu? Because I think that deja vu is your alternate reality that's already done what you're doing, and it's like, whoa, wait a second. Like the time it was at Culver's, and I was like, wait, this is This seems, seems really familiar. To me, I think your alternate, your, your alternate reality clone has done that. And for some reason, you have memory of it. Because you're... Now, that also could fall under the line, like, I had a dream of that happening. I See, I have dreams all the time, and that's where my deja vu comes from. But that could also be part of prophecy. True, and I I have looked into because I usually get deja vu in my dreams. Like I'll dream of something, and a couple of years later, I'll be like, I had a dream about this. So I mean, there there's there's gray area with that. There one. is, there is. Because it could also mean prophecy, like, oh. But like, what if prophecy is an alternate? Universe it could be. Opening. I mean, prophecy could 100% just be an alternate dimension. An alternate, an alternate version of you. Especially if it's like a good prophecy. Speaking, yeah. See, all of mine have been... Like, hey, been... listen. This is what's going to happen in your future. You better pay attention in your dream. Yeah. Yeah. Like, your soul is telling you, wake up. Yeah. Pay attention to what I'm about to tell you or show you in this dream. Yeah. Because prophecy is also something like... I hate to say it, but your little crystal ball. Yeah. That's prophecy. Yeah. It's either prophecy or a really goddamn good guess sometimes. Depends. It's usually, usually not the crystal ball. It's usually the person who's reading it. Crystal ball is just your little effect. Yeah. It's your harness as, uh, See, as I you don't, would. I don't understand crystal balls. It would be your harness. It would be, yeah. I think there are more effective ways of reading. But I do believe in prophecy. Yes, I'm not, yeah. I 100% believe in prophecy. What in the hell? What does he see? So, I don't know what that is, but whatever. Why, well, there's nothing back there. Max, I was already looked. So, <sighs> so, to me, dimensions can mean multiple different things, multiple different universes, yeah. but my question to you guys is, what do you guys think a dimension is? Just write it in the comments. This will be on YouTube. Go check out my oh, YouTube dude. channel. Um, I, I mainly look at it as, I don't even want to say like a heaven or a hell, it's just. You could almost, I mean. That I know, to me, I, to, I know to me it is a dimension. Yeah, I, don't, I know you didn't really want to get into religion per se, but you could classify heaven as hell as different dimensions, absolutely. So go, that is actually is a good way of describing what a, what a plane of existence would be, or a different dimension. Is your soul it? leaving your body into another dimension yeah. Where it's leaving your physical body. So. What? What do you. I just had a. I just thought of a new theory. Because we were talking about dreams. What if dreaming is your soul stepping into an alternate. It's like prophecy, though. Kinda, yeah. That's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, your, your soul steps out, says, hey, listen to what I gotta show you. <sighs> like, what a, like, what a weird. Was it this sleepy? Yeah. Hey, fuck you, Karma. Damn! <laughs> um, where it is like, okay, now I just lost all track. We were talking about dreams. 
and yeah. prophecy. And so your prophecy is like stepping out of your, your soul or your, your physical body saying, hey, listen to what I got to tell you. Like, see, I got to show you something. Listen to me. See, I, see, personally, I think prophecy is either a higher inner self or somebody else telling you, foretelling you something. Whereas I think maybe dreaming could be... But you still have self-prophecy. Yeah, you could. Because who knows... How do you know that... Here's the, here's the main question for you right now. How do you know that you're not a prophet? That's true. That's very true. That Now, it's, you're only going to f- figure that out with research? No. Or... You, you, that's going to be something that is completely... I don't want to say made up in your mind, but that's something that's... You got to be like, hey, this is going to happen to you. And when it happens, oh, shit. And then you got to do it again and again. And almost never, I don't want to say never be wrong because, you know, things, alternate universes could happen yeah. where you are wrong. So, you're never going to know if you're an actual prophet or not. Yeah. Unless you're told by a higher being, look. A higher being... For some people, uh, you, you're God. Yeah. Um, now you you said you you believe in a alternate dimension as okay. You you eat the cake. In in life. And in your alternate life, you don't. Yeah. So then your future then decides that you if you ate the cake, now you got diabetes. And <laughs> your alternate life, you're healthy. Yeah, right. That's that's the way you think of it. Kind of, kind of, yeah. I think that there is another one of me in the universe making the opposite choice that I've made. Hmm. See, I just, I don't know, I can't get, I just, I really can't get behind that one as much. That's how I view an alternate. That's a lot of people's view, though. Yeah, that's like the, that's usually the general view. That's kind of like your question, what if? That's your question? Yeah, that I'm, I think alternate universe is your what if. Well, what if I had done that? I think in my mind, there is someone like, not someone like me, I think alter in an alternate reality. I've made that choice. Okay, but see, my alternate reality would be <clears throat> kind of like prophecy. You know, what if I didn't do this or what if I did this? It was me being told by my consciousness not to do something. So that's why yeah, I don't yeah. really have that kind of... That makes sense. That reality, that the other dimension where I don't, I make the different decision. It's me being told, "Hey, this is this is what I'm gonna do." Like, for example, buying buying a house. Okay. Someone's gonna tell me that this is the right move, and if it's sold before I make my decision, that's someone telling saying, "No, that was that was a sign from the universe yes. saying well, that wasn't for you then." I can get behind that too, because I, I do. I do think of that. Like, oh, I didn't get that car. Well, I guess it wasn't for me then. Or even someone in the other universe is saying, "Whoa, whoa, buddy!" <laughs> you know, he's calling no, no, out. Because no, no. he's already experienced that. Yes. No, 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 no. You don't want because that. Because <laughs> I, I also think there's a future. A future dimension. Dimension, yeah. I. Uh, Where your your future self's telling you what to do, how to do it. And that's your consciousness speaking. Thing. And then that where's your your days all can come in too. Yeah, yeah. Like you've seen it before, but oh wait, I was already here. Yeah, I've had that many times. I'm driving down the road and I'm like, it's like the same song. I'm in the exact same spot, and it hits me, and I'm like, I had a dream about this. Like that's kind of freaky. <laughs> Oh my god. Now, <clears throat> with a dimension, I believe time is irrelevant. I believe in a daughter universe. It suggests that for every outcome that could come from one of your decisions, there would be a range of universes. There you go. 
Yeah, that's why I scrolled down. I knew what it was called. Why do you think I mentioned it earlier? I said daughter universe. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly now, what I Now, there should be one that. in here about being times irrelevant. Time is, to me, time is, doesn't even exist. Hold on. Give me a second. You'll like, appreciate this. A time, t to me, time is only something that we enslaved ourselves with. Like, oh my god, it's six o'clock, I'm gonna be late for work. But really, it's just the speed of how fast you can get around the earth, or the sun. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I, Here, hold on, hold on, I know exactly. Let me see. Fair sounds like he's gonna blow up. It's gonna take forever. Here. You'll appreciate this. Hold on, it's gotta do a fucking ad. Oh, it's another ad. There are two ads. Yeah, YouTube's been doing that. Welcome to YouTube, guys. Sorry for your advertisements. Hold on. He's going to do a big speech about time. And every time you mention time, I think of this. says that it's times not linear like we think it is. Well, I seen something a long time ago. About being a slave to time? Yeah. I just don't know. I, I do remember reading a quote about it. the only quotes. Uh, it's true, though. I mean... We created time, and now we have become slaves of time. But it's also uh, where they talked about how Earth rotates around. Time is just speed. Yes. Time is just... Time is just speed. We made time, but speed's always been yeah. our time. How fast does the Earth rotate? How fast does it get from 
summer, spring, fall, and winter. Well, and I mean, this is how I think of it. When people are like, That's well, what it is. time is a constraint. No, it's not. We could have easily have said it takes three rotations around the sun to make a year where it's just now it's we have it set to a year. A year around the, or a, a rotation around the sun is a year. We could have easily said it takes three rotations to make a year. And that could have been how we did time, but that's not how we did it. Well, hello, Megan. You changed your damn shit. Oh, it is hers. Thank you for joining our podcast. Megan, did, were, you time, here, were you here for the Doctor Who stuff? Time is irrelevant because we made it... And we are slaves to time. But time is only speed. So that's why I believe in different dimensions. Time's not a thing. It, uh, to me, time is not it's, a thing in a different dimension. It's, yeah. Because it, I don't know. I no, just, I just got on. Yeah, I made him listen to the uh, wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. All right, now where's one? Max. Oh God. Right there. I'm kind of. I kind of believe in the mathematical universe. Another possible uh, venue is exploring mathematical universes. Which, simply put, explained that the structure of the mathematics, or of mathematics, may change depending on which universe you reside. A mathematical structure is something that you can describe in a way that's completely independent of human baggage. Said theory, hmm. Prosper, pro, pro, proposer, Max Tegmark of Massachusetts Institute. Institute of Technology, as quoted in a 2012 article, I really believe that there is a universe out there that can exist independently of me, which what I believe, that would continue to exist even if there were no humans. So, if we're going to get on that subject, that's also where people can start believing... Not to get religious, but the first civilization. You know, where Egyptians were worshipping sky gods. I believe the people back then were actually smarter than we are now. We have yeah. technology, I get it. But back then, there was uh, endless possibilities. Yeah, they, they learned through experience, not through technology. That, that's actually the best way to put it. They learned <laughs> through experience, not through technology. Technology made us dumb, as I'm sitting here on Twitch and you, I learned, YouTube. I learned more. I mean, tarot cards really aren't any, you know, any great I learned more from experience. I learned more actually looking at my tarot cards than I do looking them up and reading about them. Yeah, see, I learned more from experience because I've honestly, I mean, yeah, I game a lot. I, I, I'm on my PC a lot, but, but, before all of this, I was outside doing yeah. everything. But, that's where I get the theory that, you know, maybe they thought, maybe they were more intelligent, so their dimensions kind of coexisted for, you know, a time frame. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. Because, I mean, yes, in the Bible, and I'm just going to go there, it states about a first civilization, second civilization, third. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. We can't make pyramids nowadays, but how do they, you know, where do they we get can't, the... We can't replicate, even with our technology, we can't replicate the pyramids. So, I mean, they have to be, maybe there was something said, maybe there was a prophecy, maybe there was something back then. Uh, even the Stonehenges, okay? Yeah, we have no idea where they came from. You know, before, before, uh, what, Pan it was Pangea. Pangea, yeah. You know, what if that was just the key to the Earth? Well, how about the Easter Island? Easter heads? Island. Well, they've dug them out and there's more than heads, but... I get that, but 
the cutting technology. Yeah. Where do they... We can't even have a laser cut that anymore. Like, that shit is fine cut, just like the pyramids. Now, there's a theory on the pyramids where they used high-pressure water, but, okay, they didn't have a pressure washer. So they, they had, had the create, Nile River. They had to create a system. They had to create a system. How? Yeah. You know, they're, they're intelligent enough that maybe they did cross over dimensions. And they talked about these sky gods and these fallen angels and, and shit like that. You know, maybe they was being um, uh, guided by a different being. I, I also think because they didn't have our version of technology. They had technology, but not like electric technology. I think they were able to open their minds up a lot wider than I'd say about 98% of the population now. But they, they do say that they believe that Stonehenge was here before well, they the said, Earth separated they from said, Pangea. Well, they, they've said that when they discovered Stonehenge, they're like, there's no way these rocks just naturally did this. Because how Stonehenge looks, it's not in the same location it was. They moved them. But how it looks now is how it looked when they found them. And they're like, uh, we didn't do this. You guys, you guys ever look at how a key works? I mean, a stone head, if you look, if you would look at it from space, I mean, it looks like a keyhole. Right, it does, because it's, yeah. And I'm not talking about the keyholes we have now. It looks like you could put something in it to unlock something. No, I'm talking about the old keys from the old doorknobs, like, over there at Haldeman Mansion. I was like, that's a door lock? I don't it's know. a fucking circle, and it's one of the big-ass keys you put in it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I'm not talking about the ones we have now, though. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about, like, with a skeleton key. Yeah, like a skeleton key. Like, that's fucking, that's weird, man. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is a lot of possibilities. A lot of, uh, to me, this could be many dimensions. Man, okay, man. how about this? We're opening paradoxes. How about, how about this? How about, what, what if each religion has their own dimension, then, too? You mean kind of like what if what if my religion and your religion are both right? What if you go to where your religion says you're gonna go? Like but Harry gonna, Potter. But I'm gonna go to where my religion says I'm gonna go. It would be different planes of of afterlife, if you will, or reincarnation, if you will. I guess depending on what you believe in. I like to be reincarnated. I think re. I, that's an interesting concept. I think reincarnation is interesting. I just don't know if I, I believe it. I would become a. Uh, I would. I strictly believe it. I, cause I, I'm, I like to be native. You know, I like to be. I think the Indian. Whatever the. Whatever the Indians say, they're right. Whatever. Yes. Whatever the. Yes, I agree. Whatever the Indians say, they are right. Sorry. They. I want to be an eagle. I want to be an eagle. That's it. I don't care about anything else. Just make me an eagle. <laughs> All right. A golden eagle, too, or a big, massive harpy, harp eagle, or whatever the fuck. And, and if you can't, if all the eagles are taken, a pair of Jean Falcon would be just fine. You're too picky. You're gonna get reincarnated. You'd be a fucking place. fish, just shut up. Yeah, I would be. Because I'm a water sign. Because you're a snake. A snake. Be a little fucking little worm going I'd be through and get ate by a fucking shark. Then I just get reincarnated again. As a fucking piece of turd. <laughs> You'll be a dung beetle. What the fuck ever. I just, she'd be a dung beetle. It was rolling around in the shit and the shit comes out of her mouth. Like... Yeah, well, a dung beetle can't roll you up, so. What? If I'm, a, if I'm like a falcon or an eagle, I could eat a beetle. No, I mean, I would be a dung beetle, but I couldn't roll you up. Because you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Alex, look at your fucking phone, she says. No, I'm looking at it. Is it going to do a trick? <laughs> I'm looking at it, Megan. What's it going to do? <laughs> God, I'm scared to read this. Or look at this. What is it on the Snapchat? Oh, I see. Megan, if, if Snapchat 
motherfucker. Put that link on his chat. What link? She found some cool shit that you should look at. Dimensions or? Uh, they. I mean, we'd have to look at them, but they look cool, whatever they are. I sent you that. I know, I saw. In case you ever feel like. There it is, it actually worked. In case you ever feel like, you know. Sending. I guess because we were talking about Stonehenge and stuff, she found this. Oh, Jesus. Nobody wants to see this stuff. Oh, my God. What? Oh, that's just a mountain. <laughs> oh, oh, that's just a mountain. Okay, she, I think she wants you to look at the three swords, that. Apparently they're considered the pyramids of Norway. That's freaking cool. Yeah, imagine us doing that nowadays. It would fall over within like a month. <laughs> Somehow we've still managed to keep the Washington Monument up though. <laughs> Washington Monument. They just put a fucking stake in the grounds all we did. I know. <laughs> okay, somehow the Lincoln Memorial has not crumbled. That's back when the fucking Masons knew how to fucking work. The Masons, yeah, they did some incredible work. I'll tell you what. He's looking it up, Megan. He wants to look more of it. I'd love to go to Norway. <gasps> we should go. Can we fucking leave you there, too? Nah, uh, if anyone's gonna stay there, it's gonna be me. What is it called? Three Swords? The three Swords, so yeah. Cause it ain't, it's just giving me visitation shit. And of course, you closed out of the link already. I would just type in Norway Three Swords. That looks like a pretty church. It's too bad you would walk in and fucking burn. Yes, I would. You're probably right. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Yeah, you put the wrong fucking... You copied and pasted the wrong thing. What do you mean? You're looking for the Viking Swords Monument, not whatever you copied and pasted. That's it, though. I mean, there it is. Yeah, but no one wants to fucking go to Wikipedia. It says visit Norway. I don't want to visit Norway, and I don't want to read it off. Here we go. Oh, my God. There you go. Dot net. I don't know if that's any better, but... Well, dot, you know, it's better than dot com. <laughs> it's better than Wikipedia. Yeah. Wow. Those are cool. That's freaking cool. If you guys want to watch uh, or read this, just pause the video anytime you want. Um, of course, this is going to go on YouTube, so. So where's like, hold on, is there like a history on this? I don't know, you probably have to do some more research. Go to Wikipedia and go to the reference section. References. See if what what's listed under that. Now, how would you even cut that stuff though? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, it is. Well, let's just click the first one. That's what I was gonna tell you to click. Just. Monuments don't get much more metal. Yes, I agree. Wow. 
to a battle achieved peace. There must have been a battle. He's like, ha! She sword! Now, peace on land. Freaky! That's cool. Megan, let's go to Norway. Well, guys. <laughs> so, as we're going to be talking about different, or as we talked about different dimensions... We got a little sidetracked, but it's a podcast. Who gives a fuck? Let's talk about anything. Um, I do believe that parallel universes do exist. Um, I do believe there is hidden things that we just can't open up. We're too concealed, I guess. That, that might be a good word to use. That is a good word. We're just... Closed off. Yes. We're too closed off. Really. It, it, it's the society I think that we live in. It ain't it ain't just you yourself. You know, maybe maybe you can think outside the box enough to to open up a, another dimension. But then of course you're opening up uh, endless possibilities if you do open up <laughs> a dimension. Cause it's kind of like watching Stranger Things, the upside down world. It's a different dimension. Different dimension. Um, and I'm sorry to say this, but my theory, it's just a theory. But if you believe in heaven and hell, that is a dimension to me. Yeah, I consider those dimensions. Um, so, it's hard to say it's not. I mean, I guess your soul's at peace or you're eternally burning. Hence the word eternal. If you're eternally burning, and your soul can feel that, what would that be? You're not alive. You're dead, but your soul's still living, but your soul is living elsewhere. Yeah. Elsewhere. So if you're eternally burning, that's another dimension or portal, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. Portal to hell, dimension to hell. So, I believe limbo, as most call it. Limbo? What's that mean? What, when you're in limbo? Yeah. Purgatory. You're in between heaven and hell. That's what people consider ghosts. Ghosts are spirits that are in purgatory. They haven't passed on to where they need So, to. like how, how I describe them. Demons are from hell. Angels are from heaven. But spirits that are neither are in purgatory. Or ghosts. Yeah. But see, just... see, now I have four, though. Spirits, to me, could be kind of like guardians. Remember, I said angels. I don't, I don't just believe in just angels. I believe an angel is... You have a, a guardian angel, which is always with you. Right. And then you have an angel that's like, okay, we go to Keeley Mansion. He's like, uh-uh, don't do that. Not necessarily a guardian angel. It could be your guardian just an angel. Yeah, just an angel in general saying, I'm fighting this demon in this house. Yeah. Maybe well, that's why maybe, the second time Keeley was quiet. Well, maybe, maybe what it is is when you die, you get assigned a task. You either go to heaven. Ooh. You go to hell. And, an, and another cool theory I had. Now, th this is just... You know, an insane theory that a lot of people will not get behind is I also believe that a, the stars is dead people. I Balls can, of gas. I can see that. What's a ball of gas? Well, okay, well, we're 98% stardust, so that's really not that insane of a theory to get behind. It sounds silly, but to me, I'm like, well... We're made of stardust, gas, atoms. Atoms. I mean, matter. I mean, everything's everything's made of atoms and matter. So, yeah. So why couldn't the stars just be souls that have passed on? And one, like you know, people was like, well, what about a shooting star? I always have an answer for that. He's moving to a different universe, 
or a different dimension to go to battle. I like that. Now, there is a difference between shooting star and a falling star. Yeah. Falling stars actually fall and hit the earth. Which is weird to say because <sighs> technically it's just a shooting star that hit, hits the earth. Technically. Yeah. Star, stars don't just wanna, fall. I want to look something up before you get off. We are just meat sacks controlled by skeletons made of stardust. <laughs> oh my god. Shooting stars aren't stars. They're meteors that look like stars. Because they shine like a star. Okay. But they're just meteors. Well, I learned something new, though. See, I, I thought about that. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Or it could be a comet, for all you know. Or it could be a wrecking ball. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to conclude this. I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Thank you for joining Mondays with Murdoch. If you like the video on YouTube click that like button. I will be back next Monday. I don't really have a subject yet, so... We have a week to figure it out. Let me know. Comment, please. Comment a subject if you like watching these. I know they're kind of long sometimes, but if you join live, it's perfect if you join live because then we can actually discuss things. It's always live on Twitch now. Um, let me know what you guys think about Dimensions. What do you guys think about this discussion? so forth um right quick this is not part of the podcast but right before we get off i am going to be trying to play a scary indie game oh i bought it it's called through the woods now the most exciting thing about this game that megan and alex does not understand is it is also based off of norse mythology yes so it's going to have some definitely creepy, uh... <laughs> Undertones, but... That sounds like a game I can get into. Um, yeah, it's... Scary? So, you won't make it. Shut the hell... Hey, I give myself credit. I finished until dawn. It just took a long time to get there. So, I am going to go ahead, probably stream this to Twitch, but as I'm streaming... Hope you guys will join that. I also will be uploading it to YouTube. It will be an uncut series. Uncut Through the Woods, Episode 1. We'll be starting in about five minutes. Uncut, just because I'm not going to edit the video. If I fucking jump and cry, okay, it's going to be in the video. I'm going to jump and cry. And if I piss myself, it's going to be in the video. Everything's going to be in the video. It doesn't matter. So I hope you guys enjoy, and as always, Murdoch Gamer is signing out. Like the video, oh, damn it. give me a subject, and I'll see you next Monday.